aren't really sad anymore, but not everybody's like that. Uh, in happier news, it is festival season here in Japan. And hopefully I'll be able to get to one of those, because those are some of my favorite things about being here. That's all good. That makes me happy to know, but it is something that I do need to keep kind of half an eye on. Uh, well, more than half an eye, because I, I do want to think about how everybody else is doing in chat. Um, it's always been kind of my big thing that everybody's comfortable. But all the, uh, all the, all the Matsuri will be starting up soon. And they are so much fun, and they have really, really good food. So, I am very excited about that. I'm not going to be able to dress up because I don't have any Matsuri clothes, but someday, someday I'll be able to play dress up. And that will make me very happy. Because Monster clothes are pretty stylin'. They are stylin' and profiling. Oh, uh, we're gonna get squished. Oh, we, we... Oh, no, we didn't. I don't think I could pull off the off-the-shoulder, um... The off-the-shoulder, uh... Hi, brain. Hello, brain. Kimono look. I think I'm actually probably too old to pull that look off, but it is a kicking look. Even though I've been informed that that is, uh, it's a courtesan style. Uh, you know, which is basically like, not, not a courtesan style so much as an escort style, I suppose. But it does look pretty nice. Alright, I'm good. Uh, what level was this? This is Flaming Timberlands. And, uh, Flaming Tim... Hey! <laughs> My tongue will work. Flaming Timberlands 2. And I don't remember who... This is Jack, of course. So this is one of the oldies but goodies. And also, Kronos, I am really sorry. Do you mind if I ask, and not to, to get you down again, but just so I can keep in mind, um, kind of what's good and what's maybe not so good as topics. Was there a particular aspect of the last topic that was bothering you? Was it the university stuff or the other stuff? Because I can just make sure that I don't get into that again. <laughs> I wonder what the Bone Festival is this year, actually. Because there's a bunch of them, and there's one that's, like, right outside my apartment. And they're usually on the weekends, so I might have to... I don't think... They don't usually start until mid-August, though. But I might have to do... A... Early stream... Whenever the festival is, because I'd really love to go to the festival. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Uh, just the college aspect. There's really no need to apologize for bringing it up, though. The fact that I still haven't applied ultimately falls on me. Um, no, no, it's absolutely... It's cool, dude. Don't worry about it at all. And I can see how that would, that would stress you out. So we'll leave it to the side. And think about... Think about festivals, perhaps. Think about festivals, think about good movies. I still, I really, really, oh, crumbs. I saw that happening. I saw it happening. I knew it was going to happen. I really want to go see the Happy Death Day to you, because that's just come out. What is it that you want me to do exactly, Level? But I don't know if I can justify the expense, because I did just see a movie. Well, I saw the first Happy Death Day. Um, Bisco, 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 what are you doing? What, what, do you, what, what do you think you're going to accomplish? It's that thing about like the craziness is doing the same thing a billion times and thinking it's going to have a different result this time. Oh, 
okay, okay, okay. I see what they want us to do. Alright, we gotta get these in here. And then we're gonna shoot them with the paint nader. Gotcha. That's really kind of awkward. I don't know if I like that at all. Um, of course, uh, Happy Death Day to You is the sequel. And right as I say that, you mentioned you saw Happy Death Day. It was actually surprisingly good. I'm really glad that I went... <laughs> I'm really glad that I went to see it. Um, it handled the concept pretty well. It was genuinely touching in some parts. Disco, you gotta stop this. Really, though. I, I think... As far as emotional payoff... I, I mentioned this, I think, in one of the, the posts, but... As far as emotional payoff, I think that... It probably should have ended... One stream... Like, one cycle earlier. But even still... I, I had a really good time with it. And I guess for the conceit, it couldn't have ended one cycle earlier. But I would have appreciated it a little bit more if it had. And I heard they actually make it work doing it through as a sequel. Which surprises me. Like, people whose opinion on movies I do, for the most part, respect have said that they've handled it really well. Wait, what? What is it that you want me to do here? Can I, can I go up? No. But I can't... Wait, does this loop around? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Like, we were just here, right? We were. I wouldn't have said that there was a real necessity for a sequel. But, yeah, some folks that I've that I kind of I follow as far as movies have, have said it's really quite good. Oh, for fudge sakes. <laughs> Let me get to the bottom of this before I, I get myself killed and frustrated. There we are. Uh, does that make sense? Probably not. I've always considered the idea of knowing what you'll take before you take it come off as a bit insane. I'm envious of a mindset like that. Um, probably not... And, darn it. Uh, I've heard good things about Happy Death Day to you as well. Yeah, it seems... It seems like it should be pretty cool. And I don't... I mean... As far as... Being envious of a mindset like that, or, or finding it a bit weird... I don't... Think that... It's weird that, that you would be envious of it, because it... Uh, seeing people who seem to think they know what they want to be doing when you don't really have a strong idea of what you want to be doing, I mean, it, it can, I think, kind of get grading a little bit, but I don't think you're weird by any means. Uh, oh, they've given us a little map that I can't really see, so let's zoom in there. What? So, what do you want me to do? This gets pulled this way. Alright. And then... Like what? We, we hit this? Oh no, that's not gonna work. Okay, I think I got it. We want this to be like this. We want to pop the bomb in like this. Then we're going to pull it over. And then we're going to drop it. Super genius! Ha! Eh? Eh, nande? Nande? Doshitano? Ah, mo. I guess we got to do it a second time? I've been told to take game design, but I'll just pull from the depths of the heart for a second and say exactly what I've wanted to say for years. What the heck do I know about games, really? Um... I'm not gonna say that you, you should do anything one way or the other. And, and I, I would say that it's... It's... 
not necessarily a bad idea to take a bunch of intro courses off the cuff in a bunch of different topics and see if one of them ends up appealing to you. Because uh, that's basically what I did my second semester after I crashed and burned in my first semester. Um, that you don't necessarily need to have a plan, like right, right off the bat, if, if you don't feel like you've, you've got that direction yet. Now, the second thing I would say, and this isn't necessarily going to change your opinion in any way, shape, or form, but I'd say that you, you know a fair amount of, of game design, to be perfectly honest. I've, I've always loved the way that you've designed your levels. I think they're really solid on, even when they're beyond my level of personal skill as a player. Uh, you definitely have a good idea of how a good level should work. And I think that translates pretty well to conceptually to game design. But, you know, that, that's really a direction that when, when you have a direction that makes you happy, that's where you ought to be going. Not because somebody else says that this is what you ought to be doing. <coughs> okay, those are just points. We don't really need those to progress the level. I don't particularly care if we get a high score. That was kind of nice. I like that. Where are we? Oh, right, because we they had to use the um, text boxes to make uh, zoom-in cameras. I remember this. I mean, not this level, but I remember this point of level design. Uh, what the heck does anyone know about games, really? Oh, hey, so I like to think this is a thing that is different in Australia, maybe, but we pick a course and that's that, rather than picking our major later on in uni career. I'd suggest looking at games and look at why they work, dissect, dissect like you dissect a literary work. But you do that if you go through game design. Um, it's definitely different in the States, Hive. Like, we don't really have to pick... I mean, you pick... Oh, that was unexpected. Um, hi, 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 hi. I think that you can pick a major early if for some reason that you want to, but you don't really have to pick a major until maybe second semester sophomore year. I know that you need, you, you need to have a major picked by junior by junior year, but I can't remember if it's first semester or second semester sophomore year that you've, you've got to pick a major. Oh, fudge. Just, I hate these things. I can never make them work. Like when I'm creating them, and I hardly ever make them work when I'm playing somebody else's. Uh, I mean, I've done that for a while, but I can't really fool myself. I don't see myself applying what I know in real life. And that's cool. Kronos, that's absolutely 100% cool. Like, if that's not where you see yourself, there's no reason to force yourself into that box. I mean, that's just what I think, though. I mean, it's not... Don't take that as God's own honest truth or anything. Please, please don't take anything I say as God's honest truth. Unless what I'm saying is, please take care of yourself. Because that is the God's honest truth. I want all of y'all to have a, a happy life, and a good life, and mostly a stress-free life. But... That's just me. Whew. That was a, a pretty long level, to be perfectly honest. Um, uni also provides great opportunities to apply knowledge. I never got into programming because uni gave stuff to do. Um, I never got into programming because uni gave stuff to do. I'm trying to parse that last part there. Uh, though none of that might even be an issue. I've got a really bad inferiority complex, you see. Um, I'm not going to tell you to get over it. Because I, I, I think it's a really crap thing to say to somebody, but at least I can tell you that I, I understand that feeling really, really well. 